And for that, he hit her with a sickle while being intoxicated. Hello people! Recently, YouTube star Pavitra got abused by her husband. So apparently her husband, Sugu, was not happy that she didn't mention his name during an award ceremony. And for that, he hit her with a sickle while being intoxicated. Yup, you heard it right, sickle. The, the last time I saw a sickle was back in the 90s while playing Great Alert 1. For home country, for mother Russia. Anyway, Pavitra has forgiven Sugu and uh, interestingly, both of them have decided not to accept the Ipo City Icon Award. So here are my thoughts on this situation. Number one, alcohol issue. Some people are saying, you know, alcohol is the cause of this issue. Uh, no, it's not. Alcohol amplified the issue. Yes, it made it worse, but it's not the root cause. Because that's what alcohol does. It amplifies your current state. If you are angry, you drink alcohol, you become more angry. If you are happy, you drink alcohol, you become happier. So if you see someone crying at the bar, you know he just broke up. Gajan, she left me. I only saw two blue ticks. She ghosted me. Gajan, please don't leave me. Okay, bro, I, I won't leave you. I drove you here, remember? And please remove your hand from my thighs. It's very close to my crotch. Thank you. Now, my second point is I disagree with what uh, Sugu has done. You know, you should never hit a woman. In the name of GSC admin, hello, cannot. So if alcohol is the amplifier, what is the root cause? Well, in my opinion, it's uh, poor attitude and poor soft skills. You're right. Sugu is probably not trained or educated enough to know certain things like uh, how to handle women properly, uh, how to respond instead of react, how to control ego, how to think holistically, how to manage fame and money, how to be a team player. And these are just a few out of the many things. This is why education and upbringing are so important. Sadly, you don't learn these things in school or university. Ah! Apparently, there are other things that are way more important, like Transformer. I gave you an order. Resistance. My third point is never feel shy to ask for help. In fact, voicing out is actually a sign of strength. If you are undergoing any abusive relationships, you can always reach out to official hotlines like wao.org.my. They have it 24 hours. Or speak to someone you know who's got experience in handling abuse. For example, Arsenal fans. <laughs> I feel very bad doing that joke because I'm a Bayern Munich fan. And if you're a football fan, you'll know that Bayern Munich has been responsible for some of Arsenal's past abuses. 10-2 on aggregate in two years, blood. Point number four is stop generalizing all these violent stereotypes. Oh, all Indians are violent. What? Stop saying that because when you do that, you'll only become more racist, more sexist or whatsoever. That's number one. Number two is mathematically it doesn't make sense because when you say all, mathematically that's 100%. Or if you say most, mathematically that's more than 50% and you don't have the numbers to prove it statistically. So don't do that. In fact, I have an Indian father for the for the past few decades, I think. It looks like And confession time, he has never abused me. Because he was never there for me. I like the way how I'm throwing my father under the bus for the sake of your entertainment. No? In return, you can actually like this video, subscribe, comment, follow me on my social media accounts. Those energy will be transformed to my father somehow. My final point is I gotta give respect to Pavitra for declining the award and also for giving her husband. Sugu, if you are watching this, I hope you seek help in getting guidance in those areas that I've mentioned. Remember, this is your second chance. It's like getting a green mushroom in Super Mario. Very rarely that happens. Use that green mushroom properly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of what's going on lah, episode 30. Now, some of y'all have been asking, Gajan, apart from making videos, what else do you do? I'm also an MC, stand-up comedian. I perform for live events. So, uh, follow me on my social media accounts if you'd like to know when is my next event. You know, sometimes it's a comedy show. Sometimes it can even be a corporate show or a wedding. So, thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.